Suddenly, police are the enemy of school children. Hi, I'm Brian Luby, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. Earlier in the week, I wrote about the story of the Grand Erie District School Board. This is a school board that encompasses Haldeman County, Norfolk County, Brantford, and it's an area with small population compared to other parts of the province. It's a mainly rural area, but suddenly they decided that police officers showing up in uniform wasn't something they could tolerate anymore. And so we heard the story of an OPP officer whose child is in senior kindergarten. And they asked, does anybody want to bring their parents to school for career day? Well, this kindergarten, senior kindergarten student wanted to bring his dad, but his dad, he's a police officer. Those are not the kinds of people that school boards want around students anymore. It's viewed as too stressful, too limiting, too uh, harmful to students, especially those who are immigrants or refugees or marginalized, racialized in any way. I don't think that that's something that holds water, but it's something that is growing in our school system. And now the Ottawa Carleton District School Board has a similar issue. A grade one student wanted to bring their mother they wanted community helpers to come into the school and detail their jobs as community helpers, what they do. Police officers in uniform, they're not welcome at Stittsville Public School in the West End of Ottawa. They are not welcomed anywhere in the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. Now, the head of the Ottawa Police Association, Matthew Cox, sent a letter asking why the board was trying to divide the community. He wanted an explanation and instead he got a lecture from board chair Lyra Evans, which was full of political jargon and doublespeak and just an agenda-driven letter. And that's what's behind this radical politics being pushed not only into the boards and the upper echelons of the boards, it's being pushed into the classrooms. I'm not saying that classrooms across Ontario should be somewhere where police are considered above reproach, never to be questioned. I don't want to turn children into cheerleaders for police, but neither should we make them scared of police officers. What's ironic is several times over the last couple of months, the Ottawa Carleton District School Board has called police to deal with protesters whose message the board didn't want to hear. So the board's fine with calling police to do their dirty work, get rid of protests, protesters they don't want to hear from, people who are even less um, desirable than police officers, but they don't want police officers coming in and speaking about community safety or being community helpers or what a police officer does. The idea that we shouldn't do this because people, especially immigrants and refugees, are somehow traumatized by this simply doesn't wash. Yes, in many countries, police officers are agents of the state and not to be trusted, but shouldn't we be using our school system to teach the opposite message here in Canada? Unless, of course, these board officials, these folks that run our indoctrination rather than education system, believe otherwise. To me, it seems they do. They see police as the enemy, and that's a, a message that they want pushed into the classroom. Premier Doug Ford, Education Minister Stephen Lecce, they both said no to this, but they need to say it louder and stronger, and the boards need to clean up their acts. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.